Hi, I thought I'd take a look and this is what I came up with. This is a, an object that I got from SketchUp. So if you just place a door, this is Home Designer Pro 2015, just place a door, there's certain limitations to just from the door dialog box. I mean I can easily make it into a double door by just clicking here. And we can set the width over here, right there, 28 inches. It's a double door, but it's not a saloon door. So, how did I get this? Well, I got this from SketchUp. This is just an object that somebody made using SketchUp. So, I'm going to delete that object, delete that one. And we'll just leave that doorway there that's uh, 28 inches wide. <clears throat> and then what I did is I uh, went to his 3D warehouse. And I found this. There's not very many to choose from, and I didn't spend a lot of time searching because it's not my problem. But we'll click on SketchUp Model 8. It says downloaded. I already sent. There's the other one. The one. The other one I used uh, that I just deleted. <coughs> now I'm going to go uh, over here to the file menu, import, import 3D symbol. And then it'll import these these file formats, and SKP or SketchUp file is one of them. <clears throat> and what I did is, since I just been, went there a moment ago, I went to the down my downloads folder, and that's where those uh, objects are. Here's the one I used earlier that I deleted, and here's the new one I just downloaded. I'm going to click on open. Let's see. Okay, we just get it in the plan. There we go. I'm going to go back to plan view. There's the object there. I'm going to rotate it in plan view and uh, <clears throat> click double click on it, open its dialog box. I want the width set to, well, the, obviously the width is 8 inches this way. I, I'm talking about the uh, depth. I'm going to set that to 28 inches. That's what you said you needed. Yeah, that makes it 28 inches. Then we'll just control key, drag that in, into a doorway space. And there it is. Not very, let me line it up within that frame. <coughs> and I could, if you wanted it, like uh, this, this doorway that I put here to make a hole in the wall, I can turn the, the cur casing off on that if I can ever select it. Yeah, okay. Go to the casing tab and turn off the casing. So now it's just a hole in the wall. And then there's nothing left there but the SketchUp symbol. And it's better than no solution at all. Okay, we'll delete that one. Go back to plan view. And I'm going to uh, go over here to file, import, 3D symbol. And we'll, I'll re-import the other one. I don't care about this. There's a... Uh, material assignments and then I'm going to make it the right width or right in this case is the width that you said it probably look best if uh, at its original size but this will serve I'll stick it in the hole and then we'll line it up in the hole and that's another solution uh, you might want to spend more time than I did at uh, 3d warehouse uh, let's see where I don't want to go back and most of the, most of these, uh, when I put in saloon doors, I didn't give her a very big uh, choice. I downloaded these and uh, and that one, and I didn't look at these, but you know you get the idea. There's all kinds of things here, and, you can, and it's searchable. It's all free. Some of the, the some of these items are not very 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 well made. But they're all free, <clears throat> so it's, sometimes it's worth to give a look. And sketch up the great pro program if you have the uh, willingness to, uh, to spend the time to learn it. But anyway, that's that's what I thought of when I, when you came up with that solution. Now there's some uh, objects for chief architect that are a little bit nicer looking that, uh, but they're they're not available for pro. I'll take, I'll take a look and see if I can uh, make that library available to you. 
but I thought I'd go ahead and do this video because this, all, all, all your solutions are going to involve something like this where you put in a doorway and then stick an object in it that, that represents the uh, doors that you want. To get those exact doors that you showed in the uh, in your post, let's see, yeah, here, you'd have to make those. I haven't, I haven't seen any symbols exactly like that. You could make this in SketchUp <clears throat> and then import it as a symbol and, and stick it in an, a, a doorway that's that wide. Okay, well, that's the end of that, and I uh, hope that helps you, and thank you.